so this was the first shirt I did and it had some blue confetti on it from when I first got my confetti. So I was not going to send that to the customer. So I did the customer another one. But since this had some type of confetti on it, I decided to put some green. I'm going to decide to put some, I'm not going to put it on the bling. I'm trying to get it around it. And I'm trying not to burn myself at the same time with this iron. So I'm going to put some confetti around the bling. And I'll probably get the shirt out for free. I'm not going to use that much confetti. So a little green. A little pink because there's some pink in it. And I love this pink. It's very bright and vibrant. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit. Around the design. Uh-oh. <laughs> and add some around it there we go and then just to bring it out just a little bit more I'm going to add some white so I'm just going to drizzle a little bit in my hand and just kind of space it out try not to get it on the bling because I don't it's not going to stick to the bling. The purpose is to stick to the shirt. And try to get out those little pieces that have ended up in the bling. I wanted to get around the bling. So that'll be perfect. Okay. And there we go. And I'll put some of this white away. I'm going to shuffle it. There we go. So could be a, there we go. Let me put some over here. Get it out the, the clover. Just really getting it out of those places where the, the rhinestones are because I don't want it on top of the rhinestone. I think that's it. So we know not to use the Teflon sheet. Again, I do not know the material of this particular sheet, but it did not, the um, confetti did not adhere to this sheet. It didn't get stuff on it. Um, pretty sure you can find them on Amazon. Just gonna press it. I'm gonna move this excess confetti off my table. I'm gonna make sure I press it on. I should have put my press pillow on it. So I'm gonna add some weight on it. And I'm gonna wait for about another five seconds. Okay, I think that's good enough. Oh, we did get some. We did get some off of there, and that's fine. Last time we didn't. I don't know, maybe I need to buy that rubber mat. Like I say, when it's when this cools, it comes off. I'm not expecting 100% of the confetti to stick to the shirt. But I am going to go around, and I see some pieces that are still standing up, so I am going to press it again. Making sure that it doesn't hit that... Um, Nope, well, it wasn't like that. Kind of make its way around the bling. So I'm going to press it again. Oh, almost lifted the heat press that time. So it's probably, again, going to stick. I'm just going to leave it like that. Any other finished pieces, I'm going to lay them down with my hand. Doesn't hurt. It's just a 
shirt itself is hot. So I'm just gonna stretch that out. Is that stuff on there? Yes, there's some tape. Like I said, it's probably gonna be a shirt that's probably gonna be given away. Cause it, like I said, it already had some confetti on it. I wasn't gonna sell it to the close customer like that because they didn't order it with confetti. Um, that option would be still available on the uh, website though. I'm so found a way to add glitter to screen print transfers. And so I'll be trying that later on um, in the next video, probably later on today or tonight, I mean, or tomorrow. I'm just gonna keep trying to upload videos so you guys can see them. See the blue confetti that came from my iron that was on the shirt. I wasn't going to sell that to the customer like that. So I was like, you know what? I'll just make another one. And I did. So that's that one. Again, thank you for watching. Click that follow button and like my video. See you guys tomorrow.